Ladies and gentlemen of Bachelor Nation, we have breaking news to get to right now. It's actually very interesting, very fascinating stuff developing in the Bachelor world. Last minute news that Bachelor creator Mike Fleiss parting ways with the franchise after 21 years. And we're going to get into this right now. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. He calls it quits. Uh, let's dump, jump into exactly what was said. If you want more information, patreon.com slash Dave Neal for all the behind-the-scenes live streams. And I've got some special content for you already up today on the Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. Link in the comment section below for that. Bachelor creator Mike Fleiss parting ways with franchise after more than two decades. Let's read the article by Elizabeth Wagmeister. Mike Fleiss will be replaced by new showrunners Claire Freeland, Jason Ehrlich, and Bennett Grabner. Grabner, all of whom have long-term ties to the Bachelor franchise. The news of Fleiss's departure comes the day after The Bachelor wrapped up its 27th season. The Bachelorette heads into season 20 this summer. First and foremost, congratulations are in order for Zach and Katie. I wish them a long and happy life together, Mike Fleiss says in a statement to Variety, referencing the winning couple from The Bachelor season 27. I want to thank WBTV and ABC for 21 extraordinary years, Mike Fleiss's statement says. They found the perfect creative team for me to entrust the Bachelor franchise and keep this lightning in a bottle bold and moving forward. Let the journey continue. All right, so no final rose for Mike Fleiss there, although he is worth an estimated $100 million, so chances are he will be just fine. That's right, folks. If there's no better example about having equity in what it is you do, uh, we have Chris Harrison, who is probably the most recognizable name from the bachelor show, uh, you know, leaving with what that eight or $9 million settlement, but the real, the real money is in ownership and the creator of the bachelor. Mike Fleiss has a lot of money there, has so much money, but not afraid to continue to sue the ever living hell out of some of its alumni. I'm going to have this story. Uh, it, actually it's already up on bachelor rush hour, the podcast, but it is being reported that Blake Horstman, it, was just sued for $150,000 plus $25,000 in arbitration costs. I have this whole story for you guys available uh, right here at Bachelor Rush Hour. Link in the comment section below. Well, let me know what you think about this news. He listed one, uh, he listed what, three different. Um, uh, showrunners, which is kind of surprising because most times there's one showrunner or maybe a team, a, a, you know, a, a two-parter, but having three people, I mean, who will be in charge of who, be, who becomes the next lead? Who's going to be in, you know, who's the top dog there? He listed three people. Will it be Claire Freeland? She's, uh, you know, will it be, will the show be run differently if managed by a woman versus a man? I mean, Mike Fleiss has been under lots of criticism for many things, um, including his public divorce, but then reconciliation with his wife. I think they're okay and happy. I don't really know, but uh, wishing them well, I guess. Uh, wishing everybody well. Let me know what you guys think. It's a fascinating story, and it's going to it's gonna change the direction of Bachelor in one way or another. We'll have to see if it's for the better or for the worse. And for more on this and the Blake Horstman being sued story, go to Bachelor Rush Hour. Link in the comment section below and check that out. It's live right now. All right, that's going to do it for me today, unless there's any other wild breaking news. I've been Dave Neal, and this was Bachelor Nation News.